hi friends in this video we will learn about routing so here first question is what is routing routing a process of transferring a packet from one network to another network that is called routing for better understanding we have to go through a network diagram please have patience we have branch 1 that is connected with branch 2 branch 1 lane 192.168.101.0 Branch 2 lane 192.168.102.0 Branch 2 is also connected with branch 3 and that lane is 192.168.103.0 Here the network is running 192.168.1.0 Here network is running 192.168.2.0 Ok when the packet will move from 101 to 1.0, 1.0 to 2.0, 2.0 to 103, 103 to 102, or 102 to 1.0, or 2.0, or 101.0. Or so, this process is called routing. As I told you, a process of transferring a packet from one network to another network that is called routing. Okay, now next is here routing rules. Okay, there are two routing rules. First, if the destination is in the same subnet or network, then a device directly forwards the packet to the destination. Note, ARP request is used to find out destination MAC address. For better understanding, we have to go through a diagram. Please have patience. Okay, branch 1 that is connected with switch switch that is connected with server and that switch is also connected with PCs here the IP 192.168.1.1 here 101.2 101.3 and 101.100 its MAC address A, its MAC address B, its MAC address C and its MAC address D now the PC this one this PC want to communicate with server so here what we will do? We will type a command ping 192.168.101.100. Okay, and this PC complete IP is this one. Okay, when we type ping command on the PC1, this is our PC1 and this is our server1. This one is PC2. Okay, when we type the command on PC1 ping 192.168.101.100, then it will match destination IP address with own IP address. And okay, we know by default it is in class C. So here we will define the mask at slash 24. So what it will do? It will check destination IP 24 bits. Okay, first date 192, 192, 168, 168, 101. 101 yes the destination is in our subnet so here first rule will activate if the destination is in the same subnet or network then a device directly forwards a packet to the destination note ARP request is used to find out destination MAC okay now this PC1 will directly forward the packet to the server 1 but before forwarding this PC required the MAC address of server 1 for that we will generate an ARP request for example the PC1 will generate a ARP in ARP it will say source IP is 101.2 destination IP I want to communicate with 101.100 source MAC my source MAC address is A destination MAC is unknown so here it will add 12 time F okay this ARP request will go to the switch. When switch will receive the ARP request, it will perform address learning. Address learning based on source MAC. Source MAC is A. So at this interface, it will learn the MAC address A. After learning, it will forward the frame based on the destination MAC. What is destination MAC here? Destination MAC is broadcast here. So a switch flood broadcast, multicast, and unknown unicast. Flooding means transferring a frame's copy to it all ports except that port on which it was received for example when router will receive this ARP request it will check what is the destination IP yes destination IP is 101.100 what is my IP 101.1 .1. it is not for me ignore when 
PC2 will receive. Okay, PC2 will receive what is the destination IP 101.100 and what is my IP 101.3. Okay, it is not for me. Ignore. But when this ARP request will be received by server, it will check what is destination IP 101.100. What is my IP 101.100. Yes, it's for me. So it will give the reply and again it will generate say ARP request in ARP reply, not request ARP reply. It will say source IP source IP 101.100. Destination IP 101.2 Source MAC Okay, now source MAC is C and destination MAC when this ARP request will be received via switch 1 sorry via server 1 then it will learn yes 1 or 2 has MAC address A so it will add yeah destination MAC address is A this ARP reply will generate via server and it will mean be offer to switch one switch one first of all it will perform address learning yeah it will learn the c next is forward filter decision based on destination mac destination mac address is a yeah a is learned from this interface now switch will forward it to the pc1 now pc1 will learn yes 101.100 has mac address here we can see okay it's mac address c so again it will generate say a packet in packet we are what we are using we are using ping so in ping we send echo request okay it will generate a maxis in maxis echo it will generate echo request in echo request it will add okay source ip source ip 101.2 destination ip 101.100 source mac source mac is a and destination mac okay we want to communicate in the same network and same network mac address is c so it will add c this message will be offered to switch okay switch will check address learning okay address is already learned then forward filter decision based on destination mac yes c c is learned from this interface so this request will be sent to the server okay we are sending pc1 is sending echo request now server will give echo reply and it will generate okay source ip 101.100 destination IP who is initiating 101.2 and source MAC yeah source MAC address is here C destination MAC A this reply will be sent to switch switch will perform address learning okay see that is already learned no problem next one is forward filter decision based on destination MAC address that is A okay now this request will forward to PC1 and what PC1 will receive PC1 will receive echo reply from the server so this is our first rule if the destination is in the same subnet or network then a device directly forwards the packet to the destination ARP request is used to find out destination mac here you can see pc1 want to communicate with server 1 server 1 ip 101.100 when pc1 will type command ping 192.168.101.100 it will check yes destination is in my subnet so i will directly forward the packet to the destination first it will generate our request in our request it will so it will write that's my ip source ip 101.2 destination ip i want to communicate with server source mac a destination mac for uh, 12 time ff this request will forward to switch switch will perform here address learning after Adverse learning for a filter decision a switch will flood broadcast multicast and unknown unicast to its all ports except that that port on which it was received so all host will receive only who will give reply who has the ip address server one has the ip address 101.100 it will give the rp reply okay source ip is server server means 101.100 destination ip asking pc1 pc1 ip 101.2 source max c and destination mac address a it will give the reply to the switch one switch one will perform address learning after address learning it will forward the frame based on the destination mac destination mac address is here a now when the switch pc1 will receive the arp reply it will maintain yes 101.100 has mac address c now both species or both species or servers have complete their arp table then they can communicate to each other directly okay so this was our first rule but here we have to understand the second rule if the destination is not in same subnet or network then a device directly forwards a packet to the default gateway for better understanding we have to draw a new diagram please have patience
okay 192 168 101 .1, 192 168 101.1 102 .1. it's ip 101.2 101.3 102.2 and 102.100 it's ip 192 168 101.1 and 102.2 okay <coughs> sorry PC1 want to communicate with branch 2 server 2 ok so what it will do it will type a command yes ping 192.168.102.100 and its complete IP 192.168 now the PC1 will match ok we have configured it at slash 24 so here it will match the destination IP 24 bits with own IP ok 192 192 168 168 102 101 yes first 24 bits are not matching it means it's clear the destination ip address is not in our subnet so here if the destination is not in not in the same subnet or network then a device directly forward the packet to the default gateway okay so here in this scenario we will define the gateway is 101 which is our gateway means router IP so here this packet will wait for some time because we have to forward it to gateway and here we, it's clear in if the destination is not in same subnet or network then a device directly forward the packet to the default gateway node our request is used to find out gateway MAC address now this packet will wait the ping request will wait here and we have to resolve our request so what is our gateway IP 101.100 so it will generate say our request in our request it will say okay source IP 101.2 destination IP I want to know the MAC address of gateway and my gateway is 101.1 .1. source MAC yes yeah, source MAC ok here we can assume A B C and D ok my source MAC address is here A I don't know the destination MAC so here it will add 12 times F this ARP request will go to the switch switch will perform address learning based on source mac source mac address is a after learning source mac it will flood it to all all will ignore who will give reply which destination ip will match okay 101 yes 101 match so r1 will give reply okay source ip okay 101.1 .1. destination ip who is asking 101.2 source mac okay my source mac is this one b yeah mac is b and destination mac ok destination mac will be now a this arp reply will offer via r1 to switch switch will perform first address learning it will learn the mac address b after learning address it will forward the frame based on the destination mac destination mac is a so it will forward it to pc1 ok pc1 will learn that 101.1 has mac address b now here we can see there is a complete arp table so what will be the function now ok the packet if the destination is not in some subnet or network then a device directly forward the packet to the destination ok now our table is complete now what will happen ok the pc1 will directly forward the packet to the gateway for understanding we have to clean some space in the diagram for better understanding please have patience